Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just spent, I don't know, about an hour outside in the cold filming a video, a follow up video. Three Blade Props Part 2 to get home to find that the video is somehow corrupted or damaged. It's flickering. Maybe the camera's not used to the cold weather, but that means that I'm going to have to improvise and Remember all of the things that I talk about or talked about touch points that I wanted to talk on um, In this video and use that video as a cutscene So <clears throat> let's get into it and let's talk about the Mavic Pro 2 or Mavic Pro series Tri-bladed props part 2 So a couple days ago I put up a video about the tri-bladed tri -bladed props that I bought from eBay um, that had claimed that they would give uh, 40 minute flight times. Um, and I said that I would get back to you if the weather held up, but uh, the weather a day or two ago was gale force winds. So I waited for today to go out and try it and the temperature is a little bit cold. So it was like below 32 degrees earlier and then it came up to about 45. So I thought I'd go out and try this. Wind was about eight to 10 miles an hour, but I said, hey, you know what? Let's just give it a shot, see what happens. If it's anywhere near 40 minutes of flight time, it would prove that you got something more out of the tri bladed props. So what I did was I took it up 100 feet, put it into a, an orbit around our point of interest orbit uh, around where I was sitting um, to shoot or film the rest of the video. And I let it fly until it said uh, low battery warning. And then I brought it in and see how much time I had flown and how much time I could possibly get um, out of the remainder of the battery. Now the thing about these batteries, which I don't know if anybody has spoken about, is it seems like you go from uh, critical battle, critical battery warning to critical battery on this series of drone in about 10, 11 seconds. Um, I got the low battery warning um, and what I did was I stopped the video and did an estimate of how much time I had uh, flown the drone. Actually, I didn't do an estimate. I had a stopwatch timing the, uh, the drone flight and how much time I had left or how much time I thought I could get let <laughs> or how much time I thought I would have left from what was uh, left on the battery uh, showing in DJI Eagle 4. And I was gonna give you, or I try to give you an estimate on whether I think it was a 40 minute plus um, flight propellers. Um, turns out, they're probably not. So um, I did the video, uh, shot it, flew it around, flew it around, I got about 20 minutes of video. Actually, I was talking for 23 minutes. Um, I had 20 minutes on my stopwatch because I started a little bit late and it went into low battery uh, warning. Um, I brought it back, I landed it, and when I looked at how much time I had left on the actual timer um, in DJI Go 4, it was about five minutes of flight time before it would have went critical. So I had about five minutes of green, a little bit of yellow, and then a little bit of red. Um, and that's when um, I tried to take it up again to see if I can get any more flight time out of it, and it went from Actually, I lowered the, the, uh, the, the critical warning down to 15% and it went literally, it said returning to home in 10 seconds, I canceled that and then still in 10 seconds it said critical battery landing. So that is something that you guys need to remember. Uh, I don't know if it's my battery or if it's this drone. If you go into critical battery warning, get that thing down on the ground fast or get it back to you fast. I had mine set uh, at 20%, which is probably a lot more than I've set on other drones because I knew I had a little bit of time to get it back. But now I'm thinking I might even want to set up to 25% just to be on, have a safe buffer in case there's like a headwind or something that I'm not prepared for. Um, fortunately, I'm in the middle of a park. So I just started to land and just started to land in the middle of a field and not like over a cornfield or something where I would have to go looking for it. Um, but yeah, to get back to the props, um, I don't think that they got much. I don't, it's not that I don't think. I know that they will not give you 40 minutes of flight. Um, they gave about 30 minutes of flight. Um, I had mentioned in the other video that I'm not even sure if these propellers give you 30 minutes of flight. To be honest with you, I just turned the damn thing on. It says 30 minutes of flight. I fly around until it says low battery warning and I land it. It doesn't really seem to me like I've flown for 30 minutes because I think I would be kind of bored after flying around for 30 minutes. I usually take it up for five or 10 minutes and then land it. And then, you know, if I need to shoot something else, I'll take it for five or 10 minutes and then land it again. But when I come back and look at the actual clips that I put together, I'm only got, getting like two or three minutes of clip. I'm not doing 30 minutes 
minutes for consecutive video to even tell you whether or not it could get 30 minutes of flight. DJI could have estimated these to be 30 minutes of flight. I didn't test it. So if anybody, if anybody has actually timed whether or not they've gotten 30 minutes of flight, please leave a comment below because I'm curious whether or not my uh, experiment here was fair. Um, if the drone was not able to get 20, 30 minutes of flight off of the two-bladed props, um, maybe I should have, you know, lowered the estimate of flight time on the three-bladed props. But until I get these together and do an apples to apples, I didn't really have the time or the patience to go out and do the two-bladed flight first and then do the three-bladed flight second. Um, I, I will never be able to know. But what I can tell you is if you're thinking about going out and getting the three-bladed props, they're not going to give you 40 minutes. Nowhere near 40 minutes. Like I said, I got 20 minutes of talk time in and it was hovering around me. I lowered it and hey, maybe had about five or six minutes left that I could have possibly gotten out of that battery. Um, I landed it with five minutes to go, took it back up, it went to critical, it came back down, and I think, like I said, that total may have been five or six minutes of flight. So total, I think I may have gotten total 30 minutes of flight. So it didn't seem like I lost anything, um, unless these don't actually give you 30 minutes of flight. If these give you more like 25, then these may have uh, been an advantage because they do spin at a, spin at a lower RPM. Um, previous day or yesterday I did a flight test just to see what the RPMs were between the two. The two bladed props came in at uh, 500 RPM solid. They kind of stayed at 500 RPM no matter what I did. Took it up 500 RPM, flew at 500 RPM, lowered it 500 RPM. Where these were, um, yesterday they were actually at 430 to 450. Today, I guess maybe because it was fighting the wind, um, they were hovering around 450 to 460. So they do spin at a lower RPM, which means you might have a little bit more lift, but that marginal amount of RPM loss or drop uh, is not enough to give you any additional power can uh, power uh, what do you call it reserve right or better word probably out there than reserve but additional power left in that battery it's probably gonna burn off at the same amount of time so I had mentioned that um, if you're thinking about buying these I know some guys go out and they buy carbon fiber two bladed props um, you might want to reconsider because uh, one of the things that you would have to consider about buying the three bladed props is the fact that they now do not fold up like the two bladed props do so that you can put it in your case. Um, so there's the inconvenience of having to pull out these props and put them on between flights versus just leave these on. Um, these are a little bit tighter um, because they have like a little bolt in the center there. I don't know if I can get that to focus real quick. There you go. I got a little bolt in the center there with a little pressed in uh, nut on the bottom. Um, I was worried about that bolt backing out and causing probably one of these props to go flying off, but after careful inspection, I, I found out that each one of those bolts seems to have a little bit of epoxy or resin holding it in, um, and they are relatively stiff, so they don't really fling out very easily. As you can see there, they're, they're kind of stiff, whereas these uh, come and go apart and go back together really easily. So um, I would be cautious about, if you did get these, about let, allowing them to spin up, because I'm thinking with the extra additional weight, uh, with the additional weight and the fact that they're stiff, you're probably gonna get a lot of dancing or vibration, which is probably gonna cause uh, eventually some type of error or failure in the drone. Um, they are um, very well balanced. I didn't see any any uh, additional vibration. Um, and I don't know about this drone, but on the previous Mavic series when I've tried aftermarket carbon fiber props, um, they were out of balance and the drone said uh, excessive vibration land or something like that. So very well balanced. Um, construction seems to be good. Um, I, I don't see anything that is manufacturing uh, wise a flaw, but again, it's just the inconvenience of having to put them on, fold them out and get them started. Now, carbon fiber, when you're flying RC aircraft, like helicopters, um, it provides a stiffer, more crisp flight, depending on what type of flight you wanna get. Characteristics are often controlled by the stiffness of the propeller or rotor blade and the uh, tip, the tip design. Um, this is a camera drone, so I don't think you're gonna be doing much sport flying with it, so there's no benefit of having carbon fiber um, using it as a camera drone. In fact, the Mavic Pro Mavic 2 series seems to be a lot more docile in normal flight modes than the previous Mavic series. And by that, I mean, um, I used to fly the Mavic around and it felt like it had a little bit of speed to it in normal mode. And this one seems like it's almost flying around in a cinematic mode. Um, not quite tripod mode, but still slower and very easy to control. Very slow, very precise, um, slow movements. Um, whereas like uh, the Mavic, Pro, the original Mavic Pro, it, it had a little bit of movement to it. And then when you put it into sport mode, the thing was a rocket. Well, not really a rocket, but a lot faster than it was in uh, your normal um, GPS mode. So um, 
yeah, um, I guess I'm rambling about it, but if you were curious about the three bladed carbon fiber props that you can buy off of eBay, whether or not they actually give you 40 minutes of flight, the answer is no, no. I think it's, what is, is there, so, so if you were curious about whether or not the three bladed carbon fiber props that you can buy off of eBay, I'm pretty sure they're gonna show up somewhere else, will give you um, 40 minutes of flight, the answer is no. They are $20 a pair, uh, actually $20 a set, $10 a pair, um, and I don't think, in my opinion, they are worth the additional cost um, when you can get probably two sets of plastic props for the same price. Um, I know some people keep a lot of extra props on hand. I, I don't know why, because I don't really crash into a lot of things, and I don't go through a lot of propellers. If you're going through a lot of propellers, you probably need to practice your flying a little bit more so you don't put a... $2,000 plus of, uh, I don't know what you, if, when you think about all the things you got, and well, $1,700 I paid for the fly more combo, you don't put this into a tree or into a building or something like that, um, but that's just my opinion. So, hey, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. I want to get back to you soon, I got a couple more videos I want to talk about. Um, the Maverick Pro series uh, I mentioned in the other video, I really am thinking about going to the Zoom version. I know I didn't say, I know I said I wasn't gonna buy another drone unless it had a one-inch sensor, but after seeing both videos and both of the drones and both what they can do, um, I think I wanna go with the Zoom, try it out. I also got a couple of accessories. These were one of the accessories that I found that I wanted to talk about. I also have a couple more. There's a, I should name the next video. I might be still wearing the same um, outfit. I have a, a, a phone holder that I'm really liking. It's a 3D printed phone holder compared to some of the other phone holders out there. And there is also um, some gimbal um, attachments that I've found that I'm going, that I've ordered that are taking a while to get to me. But when I get them, I'm gonna be talking about them. So hey, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.